It's Kevin from Kevin's Classroom. They have asked us to do the following, not that. They have asked us to explain, explain chlorine at 35.5 atomic mass. In other words, this is what we do when we have to work out the atomic mass where we are involving isotopes. What do we do first? We know that chlorine is a mixture of Cl35 and Cl37. That means that in any container I have got some Cl35 and I have also got some Cl37 in the same container. So obviously if I take the entire container and I go and weigh it, that is going to weigh 35.5. It's kind of the weighted average, is it not? So what do I say? I say, the next thing they tell us, that they say 75.5% is Cl35. So they tell us 75.5% is that, which means that 24.5% must be the Cl37, which is the blue one. What do I do now? My next step is to say, right, therefore, in 100, I have taken my isotope, and I'm going to make a little table, because it's easier to understand if you have more. This is my isotope here. I say it is Cl35 and Cl37. I put the percentage down as 75.5 and 24.5. And then I say, that is per 100 gram. Therefore, in 100 grams or whatever it is, I have got 75.5 grams and 24.5 grams. And remember, that must add up to 100 as near as gosh. Then I look up my um, mass, my molecular mass. The molecular mass of this guy is 35. And this one is going to be 37. So therefore, I say the total mass is going to be, as a ratio, is 75.5 times 35. So it's going to be 75.5 times 35, right? That gives me 2642.5. 2642,5 2642, I do interchange commas, and this one is going to be 24 and a half grams that weigh 37. So I have got 906.5 grams. These are grams. That is the total weight of the whole thing. I add it up. It comes to 3549 grams. Therefore, I say that is my molecular mass, the relative mass. The relative mass is going to be equal to 3, 5, this is in 100 grams, remember? 4, 9 over 100, which is going to be 35,49 grams per mole. And therefore, that's my relative mass, it's going to give me the same thing, isn't it? And we round that off to 35,5. And what you can do is you can use that for any table, and it works perfectly for any isotope. You just put it in and follow exactly what I've just done there. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.